nothing's in English. <laughs> Google Translate out, but we've run out of internet. <laughs> After a quick couple of days driving from the UK through France, Belgium and Luxembourg, we have now made it to our destination in the south of Germany, the Black Forest. We're going to be exploring all of the highlights that this dense and luscious part of Germany has to offer as we drive the B500 road towards Lake Constance. So, what is this road we've come all the way to Germany to do? Well, it's the Black Forest Highway, better known as a very long name, which I'm going to put up on the screen here. Bundesstraße 500 or more simply known as the B500. It's a crazy road that winds its way through unreal forests, amazing stunning lakes and some of the cutest little towns I've ever seen. You might be thinking, Black Forest, where have I heard that name before? I think I've heard of this. Well, you're probably thinking of the cake because that's where I first heard of it from. So the Black Forest cake or Black Forest Gateau is definitely from this area. So you've got to try that out. So this B500 road trip is a winding road trip that lasts around about 130 kilometers. Um, and it starts in a cute town called Baden-Baden and winds its way down through the lakes, which has a pretty epic waterfall. Follow along as we take on this epic road trip and see what Germany has to offer. <laughs> All right, so we're what? 15 minutes into the Not 500? Long. <laughs> the road is blocked. Um, but I just looked up on Google and we thought a bit of it was blocked, but we didn't think it was this soon. But it's actually only a small section of it, but we now have to do about a 40 minute detour around to come back to it. But I'm not sad, these roads look like they're pretty nice. So The roads are lush, this road is so smooth to drive on. And it's not actually much of the road 500, or I can't pronounce, it's a very, very long German word. No, it's a very, very long, long, long word. Bundesstraße 500. But it's actually not that bad, just an extra half an hour driving through this beautiful forest. Yeah, so there are worse things. You could be <laughs> stuck behind us, say, an Astra. Is that what we're stuck behind? Yes. <laughs> Didn't make sense to me. Said Astra. made it back up off the detour, back onto the road we we're aiming for. We've come to our first tourist attraction, Mummelsea, and you can see uh, this just popped up out of nowhere. It was quite an empty road, and then, but it is beautiful. This lake is, no one's on it, obviously. It's a bit chilly in the wind, um, but you can do a loop around the lake. So we've just made up some lunch. I'm gonna head for a walk and never know, maybe get a beer in the sun or an ice cream. Yeah, all the tourists have popped out of nowhere, basically. Um, we'll go find a quiet spot off into the woods. Beautiful area though. The king and queen of Mummelsey. <laughs> right, we've walked over to the other side. Oh, how beautiful is this? The sun is out, the wind is dying down, and it's absolutely stunning. And over here we've got a little mermaid. Oh, so peaceful. There she is. Beautiful day. How good is being able to have a cooked... <laughs> oh God. I mean, uh, hummus and corn chip are delicious, but very much leftovers when you go to a grocery shop. So good. But, cooked lunch, with a lovely view. I'm just quiet off to the side. And then we'll head up the hill a bit more. We've got some energy to get up. <laughs> Definitely my favorite thing about living in a vehicle. Yeah. Being able to do this. Whatever you fancy a snack. It's actually harder walking than it looks. Yeah. Massive rocks. Quite steep going uphill. But it's nice and shady, so it's not too hot. We've made it to the top. That was so worth the uphill trek up the rocks. The view at the top was incredible. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the sun's just come out. Oh, how nice is this?
I'm gonna dive in. I don't think you can swim in this one, even though there's pedalos, but there's another one we've got saved for tomorrow. Hopefully it's warm enough, or I'll just go in anyway. Oh. Give us a wave. Well, what was meant to be a lovely viewpoint and I was gonna be like, sick drone footage here, didn't happen because I took my drone off and then the sun is even straight up in the air and then came plummeting down and smashed into the cliff above me. I managed to get it, but it's all broken and yeah, on top of it off, my sunglasses broke, so that's fab. Yay. I'm having a great time. Here we have the ski slope in the summer. Whoa. I can ski that. It looks really weird. I can ski that too. Who, do, who does he think he is? Pretty good skier. I'm also a pretty good skier. I'm not saying you are. He told me to ski though, so I can't really, I don't really have much of a leg to stand on here. But yes, we could, we could both ski that, we could ski it together. Oh, I think I meant to drive up a ski slope, shall we? It must be a viewpoint on top of the ski slope. <laughs> it does, it says drive on the ski slope. It must be the viewpoint from the ski slope that we're trying to find. Oh, uh, <laughs> Tally ho. No. Executive decision. Next viewpoint. <laughs> Not walking up a ski slope. Uh, is that the road? No, that's this. Yeah. It's just a track. Yeah, it does look like, I guess it does look like it's on top of there, but. Uh, we've not had the best day, have we? We'll go. We'll go somewhere else. I think. <laughs> Quick stop off at some uh, pretty fancy castle ruins, and behind us is a nice little lake and a waterfall. It's about an hour return into a nice waterfall through the woods, but <laughs> after the day we've had, we're a bit knackered. It's already yeah. four o'clock, and. Yeah, we've seen a few few waterfalls, um, but this castle, the Castle Ruins, are pretty cool. I'll show you a better shot in a minute. Ben looks like he's lost the will today. <laughs> Don't do it. Hey, look how nice the view is. Lovely. Such a nice view. And back to the car we go. I made a little coffee for the walk. Ben's gonna take a nap. <laughs> These are so, like they don't look that comfy, but they are insanely comfortable. So nice. You won't get up from that. Do I have to? No. So there's a beautiful caravan park in the beautiful trees and woodlands behind us here. Um, and we really want to shower and have a chill. So we we're planning on staying in the caravan park tonight. But we just looked up the prices and it's 37 euros plus a tourist tax, which I can't work out what it is, but it's something like two euros to six euros per person. I just can't. It's 40 euros. I can't fathom paying that for a shower. So. 10 minutes into town, we need to do a grocery shop anyway, it's next to the little. There is a swimming pool with a heated outdoor pool, which sounds amazing right now. We're both absolutely exhausted. We're meant to be doing some work, we're meant to be getting a lot done, but I think we're just adjusting back into car life again. Yeah, to living on the <laughs> And road. losing the drone and just, yeah, it's not been the best day. So we're gonna pay three euros 50 each for the pool as a free car park outside and we can do our grocery shop first thing in the morning and head back into the woods. If we really wanted, we could drive out to the woods tonight, but I'm not sure I can be bullet. Look at how windy this road is. Whee! Cute as making the right choice. 
Woo! All these jamming towns are so pretty. This is a beautiful drive. Unexpected. Yay! There's a sign up there. I don't know what it says. It says buyers born. My uh, German speaking is unreal. <laughs> but this view, so nice. Do you reckon when they open a cork, they just chuck it out the window and it just pops down? This is 100% what I would do. <laughs> I don't know then. <laughs> I'd probably miss and end up in someone's wine. If you get Stuck in, in small town traffic. Look, there's a tractor up there. I think it's the trains. Don't know. What is it? The trains? Yeah, probably the train. But the tractors, people have been driving around in tractors. It's been hilarious. So passing on the caravan park, we made our way to Bearsbron for a dip in the pool and a proper shower before turning in for the night. All right, time to stretch our legs on a nice forest walk after a morning of doing chores. Let's go. It's beautiful through here. And a bit fresh and there's a little waterfall beside us. We are on our way to some snow. That's where we were yesterday. We're on our way to our lake. A lake. A lake, which we will put in the Yes, we should learn where we're going. I think that would be a good idea. What do you reckon? <laughs> it might be, yeah. Anyway, we'll catch you when we get at the lake. This for a little view. How good. <laughs> Having a nice chill in the sun. It's actually getting warm. Yeah, it was cold in the forest. Mm. You can swim in here, but I think it's absolutely freezing. Isn't it? There's also snakes in the water. Oh, is that what the sign said? Yeah, there's water snakes. Oh, yeah. So pretty. The forests and the mountains in Germany are just so luscious and they have like a different colour green. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like a very dark, luscious green. Ben thinks I'm nuts, but... I do. I think Shelley thinks that as soon as they found the border, they planted a whole different type of tree. No, but when we crossed the border, you could see the trees are different. It's a different green. I think the trees have been here longer. <laughs> That's why they made the border, because the trees were different. Oh, okay. There we go. We figured it out. It's like a little, like on the river. Yeah, it's like the rivers, the trees. I don't know. I don't think I'm that wrong. After our morning hike to the lake, we carried on to the stunning little town of Schilta. We've driven about an hour south of where we were this morning. It's super cute. Oh my cute. God, it's so cute. Check out how cute these streets are. And this is just one of them. So it's amazing streets, amazing architecture. And behind us is the forest. The Black Forest, which we're still there, is absolutely incredible. We will be taking a lot of pictures here. So get ready for a picture influx. Coming in three, two. We smashed out an hour or two of work while in Shiltak and after dinner carried on driving to find a quiet place to camp for the night. Pulled over, we're on our way to the world's largest cuckoo. <laughs> anyway, we have to pay a euro for it to go off and I went searching and we only have 20 cents left. I have cash but I've run out of change. But anyway, welcome to the world's largest cuckoo clock. It's really cute. Even if we had a Euro, we couldn't play. Take it away at the end of the day. I'm taking it away. 
I guess there are more people like us coming along in. What's the time? Quarter past eight at night. Cuckoo, cuckoo, all night long. Cute though. So see this picture, this hat thing with the red balls? We've seen pictures all through the last town of these women like leaning out of corners, like splashed everywhere. But we don't know what it means. So we've got to Google it. If anyone knows what the red hat means, with all these weird fruit and it's like a logo with this area. I don't know, it clearly is something significant uh, that we need to Google and figure out. I don't have a phone on me, it's in the car. We'll get back to you on that one. Oh, look at the size of this. Do you reckon we can fit that? Oh my God, look at that one. <laughs> How did I miss that one? Mega beers. Get on the beers. Okay, let's go to bed, I want to watch a movie. <laughs> About clocks. So upon a quick Google, the red ball hats literally translates to a ball hat. Um, and it's just pompons, distinctive woolen pompons worn since 1750 by protest Protestant women as part of their folk costume. Um, and nowadays it's actually the red pompons and white brim of the bullen hat is also said to have inspired the top layer of the black forest cake. So I think tomorrow morning, we're gonna need to go grab one of these black forest cakes to really, you know, experience the culture and the yumminess. <laughs> and away from the noise to find a nice quiet place to camp. for the night. Time to clear the bed and make it long enough for tall man over here to spread his legs. Spread his legs. <laughs> Stretch his legs. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it for the night. We'll catch you in the morning. Tune in next time as we continue on this stunning road and visit three more countries as well on our epic European road trip. No, no, no.